Messi. Oh, what a goal it is! Hi everyone, I am Paulo Josué, captain of Kiel City. You are listening to the Bola Bola Show. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Bola Bola Show. I hope everyone is doing fine there and you know, together with me as usual, I have my co-host buddy, Steven. How's things, man? Hey, how's it going, Elwin? Everything's going fine, fantastic. And uh, hopefully we can turn this pandemic around so that we can resume our normal business sooner or later, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I see that the uh, vaccination uh, percentage is uh, increasing in Klang Valley, especially numbers are, uh, you know, even though the numbers are high, vaccination is also high. And uh, from what I hear, the cases for the non-vaccinated, so so we know that, you know, at least some things are working despite, despite you know, all the, uh, I would say, turmoil and challenge that we have. But, you know, uh, let's put COVID aside, you know, football is Football needs to roll on, guys, right? And Stephen, who do we have on our show today? Okay. Bola Bola Show would like to welcome Paulo Josue, team captain of KL City. Welcome to the show, Paulo. All right, guys. Thanks for the, the invite. Welcome, Paulo. I'm very happy to be here with you. Let's enjoy a bit. I just want to ask you, I got some coffee here. Do you mind if I drink it? No problem, <laughs> Go ahead. No, no problem at all. No problem at all. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, Paulo. Uh, last Friday, KL defeated Pahang 2 0 in Kuantan. So, which brings an unbeaten run to nine games. I mean, that's a that's a very spectacular run. What is the secret behind this remarkable run, actually? Uh, this is uh, some uh, tough question for answer. Um, I don't have this question 100%. What I can say to you is uh, that uh, we work a lot during the week with Coach Boyan, with the, our staff. We have a lot of information about the, the, the other teams. We training a lot of our set pieces. We try to set up everything special from our back line. So maybe, maybe it is, could be our, our secret. Everybody defending together. Uh, and we help the Kevin and our back line to hold their teams. And, uh, you know, uh, we are the third or fourth best defense in the, in the league. So, so far, I think that uh, is our main, main point of, in, of the team. We defend very well. We, as I say, we have a third or fourth best defender in the, in the league. So that could be our secret. Uh, even with uh, nine games unbeaten, we need, we need to remember it's uh, it's a lot of draws. Huh? We we suffer a lot of goals in the end of the games, so it could be a much better, much better if we don't concede a lot of goals in the uh, last 15 minutes, last 10 minutes on the some games. Yeah, and 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 Paulo, you know, just just to follow up with uh, Steven's uh, first question, you know, so. Being being a very solid defensive unit, right? You know, so so I guess this is what makes KL so hard to beat, right? Because uh, in, in fact, like what you just mentioned, uh, nine draws, right? Nine nine draws there, and, and just four defeats. You know, looking at it, I, I look at it, four defeats is a is an excellent achievement there. But out of these nine draws, right? What do you think most of these draws come upon? Is it more of two points loss or one point gain? You know, you you know, like what I'm saying, like. Yeah, from my, yeah. my point of view is mm -hmm. two points. Uh, we we need two points. On my point okay, so you think of it also the, the the opponents always uh, uh, run after the game. You know, they always are running at the end of the game. They attacking as a crazy. They come everybody. They, you know, they everybody attacking. Suddenly the defender come to attack and they come come come. Suddenly the ninety minute they score. In the last minute they score. I guess uh, Keda against uh, uh, Teranganu away, against Keda away, against uh, Pine away, you know, uh, Selangor away, yeah. uh, PJ Seat away. All, all that, all that games I mentioned to you. Always we serve the goal on the end of the game. Mm. So for me, I, we miss some, uh, uh, we miss some attention on the end of the game on that time. 
and uh, we, for me, on my point of view, we always miss two points. In the table, if you don't miss too much, this two points, two points, two points, two points, we should be in the best position, the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and Paulo, what was the objective at the start at the start of the season, you know, at, the, at this current league standing, you guys are now in sixth place. So, you know, has this exceeded your expectation? Uh, honestly, uh, for me, I expect something like that, top five, top four. Because we have a good uh, a good team, that's a really good team, with good local players, good foreigners. Okay. Even without striker, we we are doing very well. And for the club, the main point is uh, the main achievement is uh, staying in the Super League. Uh, I think this is uh, when Coach Boyan come. Maybe they make this agreement. I uh, you come. I just want to stay this first year in the Super League. The next year we can give one step forward. To getting better the team and you know something like that mm -hmm. but from my point of view when i come to the first trainings and uh, the first month of training and uh, i see the players i see some friendly matches I, I say to myself we can do better mm -hmm. so for me it's not a, a surprise so we're supposed to be in the best position as i say to you we draw too much too, too many games we miss too much two points mm -hmm. and uh yeah for the club, I think for the club, for the institution, uh, KL City, is the main thing is stay in the Super League. But uh, for ourselves, inside the changing room with the coach staff and everybody, we know we can do better. So it's not a surprise for me. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And the remaining fixture for KL City will be against three of the top four teams in the league, Trangano, Kandai, and JDT. What will be the approach for all these games? Uh, we have uh, Trangano and Keda at home. At the home, we still don't lose uh, none of game. If you keep it, I think for, for ourselves now, we have a, we are not under pressure. We, we don't relegate anymore. We can enjoy a bit more the game and uh, settle something, you know, try something extra that before we have some pressure. So, we, you know, inside our mindset, sometimes mm, it's too risky for that time. So better we play more safe. Uh, but if we keep this um, beating at home, um, I think we have a great chance to to collect some points. Uh, at least don't lose the games. Uh, against Teranga Norway, we play a very nice game, especially in the first half. As I say to you, they they win the game in eight, nine minutes. Against Keda, we lead the game until 90. They score 92 and 96, two mm -hmm. goals. Then they win 3-2. So I think if you keep this solid, a defensive part, and if you hold our main players, well, uh, and uh, we get our chance that uh, we did uh, last game against Pahan, especially we make a clean sheet. That's nice, mm -hmm. and we take some, uh, we miss some uh, opportunities to score, but in the second half the opportunities come, then we score. If you did yeah. it, if you do it uh, next Sunday, I'm sure we can collect some three points or at least one draw. You know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and uh, Paulo, you know, let's talk about when you first arrived in uh, KL in 2017, you know, so how would you like to share with our listeners, you know, how, how did that move come about? Uh, oh. Okay, uh, that time, uh, there, there were a uh, uh, coach from Brazil that I was working before, uh, and uh, my, my agent uh, working here for a long time, so I... I I, I knew many information about the league, about the country. I brought some friends that play here, also play with me in Brazil. Then I ask some questions. They say, no, you can come. That is nice. We, I think we can play here for a long time, they say to me. Also with my agent, with the coach Fabio at that time. My agent, by the way, Val Valdir de Souza. was a very nice guy, worked here for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the project is that time was for uh, promote the team. The Kuala Lumpur make an amazing season. That season, uh, the Paul was a uh, top scorer of the year. Like, everything works for him that year. Then I come, I just joined the team, and the team was. Uh, how can I say to you? The team was playing very well. You know, I just come and uh, I give some support, extra support that maybe they are missing or no. I don't know. But uh, doesn't matter, it works for us. And uh, Kuala Lumpur have had that, that project at that time. Then I come, uh, the first impression was uh, uh, 
of course, the football in Malaysia at that time must, uh, especially in Premier League, must be a bit better. As our usual, every, everywhere with football must take it better. Uh, now I think it's better. Now you can see Terengganu make uh, good facilities, good stadium. Yeah. Selangor, we can see uh, the difference. Johor, you know, Johor is Johor. Many teams now is getting better, you know. They see on other teams. And for, for my point of view, since I come 2017 to now, it's a big difference. Now Kuala Lumpur have a nice project also. Have a CEO, have everything on time. They take over the stadium, salary on time. They have a good CEO that work on, on the team, a good owner, you know. That I can see from outside, you know. I'm not inside there. I don't know what's happening inside, the, you know, the meetings and everything. But so far, what I can see is a, a, a big improvement in the football in Malaysia, especially in Kuala Lumpur, since I came here the first time. Okay. And, uh, and Paulo, you know, uh, Malaysia is your first move out of Brazil, right? I mean, all your, your previous career, you were playing you were playing in Brazil. So, you know, what what prompted you to, to take that next step to move out? Uh, actually, I played in 2015 in Dubai. Oh, okay. UAE, UAE, I played one season there with Coach Fabio also. Oh, okay, okay. And that's okay. why we know each other because we play together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I played one season there, 15 to 16. Then I moved to Brazil. I stayed there one, uh, one season. Then uh, Fabio moved to KL. Then he called me with my agent. And we just settled everything. And I come after the first call, I just come and uh, no regrets so far. Uh, Love the seat, I love the counter, I love the club, so everything's nice. Mm -hmm. okay. What is your impression of KL back then, and how much have things changed for you now? Uh, now they are a private club. Yeah, they are a private club. Uh, before, uh, I don't know, as I said, I don't know what happened inside, you know, behind the scenes there. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, but what I can see from now, I think. Um, we have uh, some better link management with the players. We know more what's happened, uh, you know, not much, but we know some movements of the club they are doing, what they're supposed to do, what, you know. I think this, uh, for me, is a, a huge difference because when the management and the players and the staff make this link be between each other, I think everybody knows what is the target, you know. I, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I play just for play. I don't know the target of the club. We never know what happened. So now I think every, everything was settled. Everything was uh, targeted. For, okay, we run for it, we run for it, we run for it. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm clear to you. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. But this is what I can see, you know. Before, uh, I'm not sure. I, I saw many, of course, have many uh, good management there that I have a good relation. But I think it was more politic. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I can't say okay. to you. But uh, mm -hmm. now I can see a bit more clear, you know, what happened, uh, what is the club target, what is the, you know. I don't know if I, I'm clear to you, but was, I also know, don't know much. But uh, what I can see is something like that, you know. Okay. All right. Okay. Sure. And, you know, uh, Paulo, you are now made the team captain of, uh, of KL. So, you know, in fact, uh, congratulations. On, on, on that role, you know, and uh, what what do you think are, uh, you know, three most important value there as a team captain and, and, and do you have any, uh, you know, all the past captains in the, you know, in the Brazil and all that maybe that, that you take uh, take some admiration, admiration from, your role model maybe? Yeah. Uh, you know, the first time uh, when uh, last season actually when uh, mm. I got the armband, I was surprised because I not expected it. Mm. You know, I don't know what happened. Uh, as I say to you, behind the scenes, uh, Indra still was there and he don't want anymore. Uh, I don't know what uh, that time was the president who decided with the coach Niza. But I was a bit surprised. I know I don't have this profile of, you know, a big player that have a nice motivation, this kind of stuff. You know, I just go and play and I give 100% what I can make what I can do. And this for me, I, I never, you know, I, I play with many nice captains in Brazil and forever. 
And I never need somebody come to me and say, ah, Paul, come on, do this. Ah, please do that. You know, come on, come on. You know, it's like a motivation. Yeah. So for me, it's like this. And I just, I say to the players, we, we must run as a, a team. But we need to be strong as a team. Everybody know how, what to do. In the pitch, I try to, you know, always run beside them. That for me is most important. I, I, I need to, to show the example. I, I think it's the, the main point of it. Uh, I can do on the pitch is always uh, running first. Later, I can talk something. But first of all, you need to run together, you know, run together and do everything together as long as good for the team, you know. And um, I, I don't know what to say to you. I never think about it, you know. <laughs> is the I mean, you're, 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 you're a natural leader. Sometimes, natural, you know, as a natural, natural as a natural. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I just... Do yeah. everything. I, I don't mind who is the captain. I don't mind to be the captain. I don't mind to give the armband for another boy, for another player. I, when I go inside the pitch, I just do my job 100%. And try, I always try to make the player who who running beside me make better and better and better and better. You know, that's for me is the main point. How I can make my teammate better? How can I make the defender better? How can I make the striker better? Mm-hmm. I think for me is the the main point. In the football. How can we as a collective team, 11 players, how can we help each other to make a, 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 to make an, a strong team, you know, as a, a, you know, something that everybody's involved. It cannot be uh, one player just only score or just one keeper, you know, save 100% on the ball. It's never happened, in the, you know, all the time in the football, never have. Always is about 11 players. Of course, if we have a, a strong team, everybody working together. Of course, sometimes the, uh, one player we score a bit more, one player we assist a bit more. And you know yeah. what I mean? The, 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 your individual work, you show a bit more. But first of all, we need to, to, to find how to play as a team. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, basically, now we're going to ask you some very simple question. And okay. you just answer the first thing that comes to your mind. So are you ready? Okay. What's your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food. Yeah. It's too many? Too many. <laughs> too, many too many choices. Yes. Uh, churrasco, beef, you know, barbecue. Okay. barbecue. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. right. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you like durian, Paolo? Oh, bro, sorry. <laughs> what, okay. what was your? Do you have any? Do you have any interesting durian story you want to share? Maybe somebody gave you durian the first time and you <laughs> ran, ran, ran for your life. The first yeah. time I came in 2017, I, you know, everybody talk about durian. Just yeah. trying. the taste was not my favorite. Sure. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's okay. also this bell also is not the, the best thing I. I, I, I <laughs> So it's love or hate, and you are not love. Okay, yeah. I'll put it. Yeah, I'll put it that way. Okay. All right, all right, all right. right. Um, favorite holiday destination. All right, all right. Uh, uh, I think was here when I was in Malaysia when we, we moved to Thailand. Mm, okay, Thailand, okay. Nice beach, nice nice time with family. Yes, mm-hmm. everybody enjoy. We can take a lot of good memories to us. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. And what about your favorite music, Paolo? What sort of music you like listening to? All right. I'm not that that good uh, listening music, in, you know. I I hear sometimes, but yeah. Uh, maybe some Brazilian song. I don't know if you know, but we have many kind of mm-hmm. songs there. Pagode, sertanejo, mm-hmm. okay. Brazil songs. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And last question. Favorite movie? Favorite movie? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favorite movie? You know, my, my, my afraid always uh, was something like that. No? When the people was asking the question, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No problem, no problem. All right. So I, I, uh, I think you have many, yeah. many choices as well. Yeah, it looks uh, like there are many choices. I, I can say to you one series that I, I really like that was mm-hmm. uh, Game of Thrones. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, Game that, of Thrones. Uh, in my yeah. life, we really enjoyed that time. Okay. We watched 
three times already the full season. So ah, okay, yeah, that's something that uh, I I think was interesting. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, just just one thing, uh, Paulo. You know, because um, we mentioned about food just now. You know, do you have any uh, recommended Brazilian food that you know we we Malaysian guys can try around that you have tasted here in KL? Because yeah, for yeah. us, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we have in, uh, we have some uh, barbecue from that Brazil. That, that uh, okay. for me is the main, the main, the is main. That, is that the churrascaria? Churrascaria. Churrascaria, exactly, exactly. <laughs> churrascaria. Yeah, yeah. We have I mean, one in Avenue Key. Oh, Avenue Key. Yes, yes. Uh, just in front of KLCC. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can go there and try once. So we have a yeah, uh, uh, nice buffet with a. Uh, all the Brazilian food, mm -hmm. plus the, the, the beefs and, the, you know, I think you, you really enjoy that. Okay, we'll take note yeah. of that, definitely. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. note, take note, take note. <laughs> I already try everything here, Nasilama, Hochichana, everything I try, so you need to try also. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure yeah. indeed, sure indeed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Paulo, uh, any last questions to the KL fans from yourself? Uh, any wishes? Any any anything you want to yes, say uh, to your KL fans? Yeah. Yes, for sure. Uh, just uh, mm -hmm. we are missing all of them at the stadium. Yeah. I understand, and we all understand that we don't have that uh, you know crowded fans in Kuala, Kuala Lumpur City, uh, not like uh, other teams, you know. Uh, but we have a uh, a good ones that always give some uh, good support to us. When they go to stand, uh, 400, 500, 1,000, we really appreciate when they go there. And I want to say to them, uh, without them, football is nothing. Without the fans, football is nothing. So my wish for them is that, some, uh, that uh, the, this pandemic can go through and uh, they can come back and enjoy with us the game. Uh, we understand that it's a tough time. Uh, but we really miss everybody. I think all the clubs missing, all the, the supporters. As I say, football without supporters is nothing. So uh, that's my wish, my my desire to they come back as soon as possible, take some picture with us, celebrate with us, suffer with us, everybody involved on the game, for we getting better and getting better and KL become a, a big team in the Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Thank you so much, Paulo, for taking your time to speak to us. Uh, Thank you very much. And, you know, yeah, really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. All right. Any last appreciate. one for yourself, Elvin? Uh, no, I just want to thank Paulo. You know, very honored to have a captain of a Malaysian Super yes, League team captain. on our show. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we, we have a lot of uh, good guys there. We can call for them. We have, have a good time with them also. Sure, yeah, sure. absolutely. No problem. No problem. We would love to have a maybe catch yeah. up with the KL team one day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Any time, guys, just... Just hey. a call and we meet, no problem. Well, thank you, thank, thank you so you much. Very thank much. You so and much. we wish, thank wish you. you and your KL team uh, all the best, best to complete the season. Yeah. Thank you very much. We really appreciate. Yeah. It. We really appreciate. Okay. It. Yeah. Thank you. All right, folks. With that said, we will end this week's episode of the Bola Bola Show. Thank you for listening and goodbye. Oh.